Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Filtering is a great feature of Excel that gives you a lot of control over which parts of your spreadsheet are displayed. You can use it to show only the information you need, or find something specific, while hiding the rest of the data temporarily. Now, it is important that you have a header row because the filtering tools will actually get added to the cells in this header row. In this example, I have an equipment checkout log and there are a lot of things to keep track of, so I'd like to use some filters to simplify it. First, go to the Data tab and click the Filter command. And you'll see these drop-down arrows are now added to your header row. These are what you'll use to access all of the filtering options. Here, you'll see a list of all the different values that appear in this column. I'd like to just view the laptops and projectors, so I'll uncheck this box to quickly deselect everything, then check Laptop and Projector. Click OK, and now the drop-down arrow has been changed to a different icon to show that there is a filter applied to this column. We can narrow down this data even further by adding another filter to a different column. Let's filter by the date that the items were checked out. This shows all the months that appear in this column, so I'll uncheck the months that I don't want, then click OK. To get rid of any filter, just click the icon again and select Clear Filter. And I'm going to go ahead and clear this other filter that I applied earlier. So that's how you do simple filtering. Now let's take a look at some more advanced techniques. Using the same menu, you can also search for values that appear in this column. For example, a lot of our equipment is made by a company named Saris. If we type that here, Excel will look for a match anywhere in this column and then list only those results below. To apply the filter, just click OK. For a little more control, you can use text filters instead. You'll access these from the same menu under Text Filters. Here you can filter information that fits more specific criteria. For example, cells that contain a certain number of characters or data that doesn't contain a word. In this example, we're going to choose Does Not Contain and then enter Laptop to exclude anything that contains this word including laptops and laptop travel bags. Click OK, and Excel will refilter the data. Next, let's say that I only want to show items where the ID number is between 3000 and 6000. I can click the drop-down arrow and go to Number Filters. And there are a lot of different options here, but for what I need, I'm going to choose Between. Now I can type whatever values I want for these two fields. So this filter will show things that are greater than or equal to 3,000 and less than or equal to 6,000. Click OK, and now all of these values are between 3,000 and 6,000. Date filters are really cool because they can display data from a certain time period, such as last week, last year, between two dates, and so on. In this example, I'd like to find out which items were checked out between July 15th and August 15th. I'll select Between, and then in the dialog box that appears, I'll use this calendar icon to select July 15th, and August 15th. Then click OK. And at this point, we have three different filters applied to our worksheet. So it's filtering out most of the items and just showing the ones that meet all of the criteria. If you'd like to remove the filters, you can clear them one by one like we showed you before. You can click the Clear command in the Sort and Filter group to clear all active filters. Or you can turn off filtering altogether. Just click the Filter command to do this. As you can see, Filtering can narrow things down really quickly, which will help you find the data you need. And because it includes so many different options, we bet you'll be able to use it with just about any spreadsheet. 